Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna learn about a topic called Riemann sums. One of the big questions that we have in calculus is how can we find the area under a curve? Well, it turns out the exact area under a curve is given by something called the definite integral. Here I've shown the definite integral from zero to three of f of x dx. This represents the area under the f of x curve. We'll talk about how to calculate definite integrals in a future video, but in this video, we'll be leading up to that idea with Riemann sums. First, a bit of quick history. Riemann sums were named after the mathematician Riemann, who lived from 1826 to 1866. The main idea of Riemann sums is that we'll be approximating the area under a curve using rectangles. For example, here we have what's called a left Riemann sum. Here, there are three rectangles spaced one unit apart on the interval zero to three. Now I want to note that I'm using three rectangles just for illustration purposes, but note that using more rectangles will give us a better approximation of the actual area under the curve. Also, note that the space between each rectangle is called delta x, and the left side of each rectangle touches the curve and is therefore the height of each rectangle. So now if we find the sum of the areas of each rectangle, we'll have an approximation of the area under the curve on the interval 0, 3. So the definite integral from 0 to 3 is approximately equal to delta x times f of 0 plus delta x times f of 1 plus delta x times f of 2. And since delta x is common to each term, we can factor it out to clean up the equation. Now we can also have right Riemann sums, where the height of each rectangle is determined from the right. So in this case, the definite integral from zero to three is approximately equal to delta x times the quantity of f of three plus f of two plus f of one. Remember, delta x is the base of each rectangle and the function values are the heights of each rectangle. We can also have a midpoint Riemann sum, where we use the midpoint of each rectangle to determine the height of each rectangle. So in this case, where we're using three rectangles to approximate the area under the curve, the definite integral from zero to three is approximately equal to delta x times the quantity of f of 0.5 plus f of 1.5 plus f of 2.5. So now let's do an example problem that involves Riemann sums. Estimate the area under the given function on the interval negative one three using a left Riemann sum with eight partitions. This means that we'll use eight rectangles to approximate the area under the curve. So the first thing we need to do is find delta x. And delta x can be found using the formula b minus a over n, where a and b are the endpoints of the interval and n is the number of partitions. So in this case, delta x is three minus negative one over eight, which equals one half. Now we can write the equation for the left Riemann sum. One way to notate this is L sub eight, where L means left and eight means that we're using eight partitions. So this gives us one half times the quantity of F of negative one plus F of negative 0.5 plus F of zero plus all the way up to F of 2.5. Note that we start at the left endpoint and we keep adding delta X to get the successive function values. Also note that we stop at f of 2.5 because that's the left side of the last rectangle. If we need to get the final numerical value, we can just use a calculator. For now, I just wanna make sure that we know how to correctly set up the equation. Now let's estimate the area under the given function using a right Riemann sum with eight partitions. Well, we already found the delta x from the previous problem, so we just need to determine the function values that we need to add. And in this case, we're gonna start at f of three and we're gonna go backwards incrementing by 0.5 until we get to f of negative 0.5 because that's the right side of the last rectangle. Also make note of the notation r sub eight where r means right Riemann sum and eight means eight partitions. Finally, let's estimate the area under the given function using a midpoint Riemann sum with eight partitions. So in this case, we'll write m sub eight M standing for midpoint and eight standing for eight partitions. And we already have delta X, which is one half. And now we just need to determine the function values that we're going to add. So what we need to do is figure out the first function value, which is halfway between negative one and negative 0.5. And that's just negative 0.75. 
And now to get the other function values, we'll increment to the right by delta x, which is one half, until we get to the last rectangle. So our m sub eight equation is one half times the quantity of f of negative 0.75, plus f of negative 0.25, and we'll continue incrementing by one half until we get to f of 2.75. As I mentioned earlier, if we use more rectangles, we'll get a better approximation of the actual area under the curve. And if we use an infinite number of rectangles, we'll get the exact area under the curve, the exact definite integral. In a future video, we'll continue to talk about the idea of determining a definite integral by finding the sum of the areas of an infinite number of rectangles. For now, make sure that you know how to correctly set up left, right, and midpoint Riemann sums. And that's how you rock calculus!